Mm. I'm contemplating or discussing um, with my spiritual friend um, Nirvakalpa uh, Samadhi. And um, I just read um, on the interweb a definition of uh, Nirvakalpa Samadhi, um, which said um, the highest state of concentration in which the soul loses all sense of being different from the universal self, but a temporary rary state from which there is a return to ego consciousness. And um, Nirukalpa Samadhi um, is recognizing what we are and um, it's not a state because uh, a state is a state of something the same way that um, ice is a state of water um, and steam is a state of water rain is a state of water a flowing river is a state of water but water is water whether or not it's a flowing river river or a still pond whether it's the deep blue ocean um, or it's a trickling little stream it's water the essence of water is water what is the state factor in those things is the condition um, and um, what we are, which is that that the cons with recognition of what we are, non-conceptual recognition of what we are, is not a state, and uh, it happens. It happens in the absence of states, um, and so another example of this would be to say if what I am in myself just being like. If I was to recognize myself just sitting and being that which I am, it could be akin to just sitting relaxed with awareness of what I am. And a state would be if I was dancing, or if I was angry, or if I was happy, or if I was acting a certain way, um, in the same way that a, uh, a hypno hypnotist takes people in stage hypnosis and convinces them that there's something, that they're Elvis Presley, or convinces them that they're in love with someone, or convinces them that they're um, you know, a, 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 um, a king. And then the person acts according to the, the hypnotic command. The act and the hypnotic state, uh, all in one, and the actions that go with it are a state. And so if a person goes through life constantly in roles and identified with conditions of that which they are, um, uh, um, mind, body, uh, thought, they're all, they're all states. And combinations of mind, body, thought are states. But all there is is consciousness. So it, when there's an absence of... Um, states consciousness is what it is in the same way that if, if I'm moving and singing and acting and putting on different roles and wearing different masks and then I sit and suddenly become aware ah that's what I am then if after that recognition and that recognition could be akin to uh, Nirvakarpa Samadhi then after that recognition I start dancing and moving again that knowingness that I am, which wasn't a state, isn't then absent in the presence of states. Then one knows what one is in the presence of states. And it just so happens that there, there, there is then a simultaneity of, of understanding. It's a transcendent understanding. It transcends the states, which means it's still present 
in the midst of activity. It's not a stillness that is the absence of activity. It's a stillness that was underlying activity all the while. Um, it's like the silence of the mind is always there in the presence of thoughts or the absence of thoughts and in, in deep um, uh, meditative um, mood in the absence of thoughts that silence is seemingly amplified but it's not um, a silence that's created by the absence of thoughts it's a silence that's revealed in the absence of thoughts and when the thoughts return the silence is still there it's what is makes the thoughts possible so anyway that's some considerations and musings and reflections uh, on the way um, uh, this body sees uh, Nirvikalpa Samadhi.